This video will demonstrate how to make the fascinating exploding glass structures known as Prince Rupert's Drops. The YouTube user Destin, who runs the channel Smarter Every Day, recently posted an excellent video showing the rate at which these drops fracture using a high-speed camera. The footage revealed a fracture rate of 1600 meters per second, which is more than half the speed of the most common mining explosives. This experiment clearly has a high risk of throwing glass fragments, so fully shielded laboratory goggles are required for safety. The process for creating these drops is quite simple. The tip of a narrow length of glass, such as a glass blower's tube or a chemical stirring rod, is heated over a propane or map gas torch. Either type of glass can be easily purchased online or at a glass blower's shop. The glass is slowly rotated in the flame above a cold glass of water until a molten bead begins to form at the tip. At this point, the size of the drop that will be created can be increased by continuing to rotate the rod as more and more of it melts and adds to the molten ball on the end. Once the desired size has been reached, the angle that the rod is held at is increased so that the ball begins to stretch free and form into a teardrop shape. The torch is then focused on the drop itself, not on the strand that holds it. If the strand is heated more than the drop, it will cause the whole thing to shatter as it cools. When heated from the base of the drop, with only a small amount of heat focused on the strand, the glass will eventually break free and fall into the cold water. There is still some chance that the drop may shatter, but it should survive the majority of the time if it has been heated correctly. The result is a perfect drop with a massive amount of internal stress caused by the rapid change in temperature. Backlighting the drop with the polarized light from a computer screen and placing a polarizing filter over my camera lens reveals waves of color that indicate the stresses present. While the drop is quite hard to break from the large end, simply clipping off the tail disrupts the crystal structure that keeps the stresses in check, resulting in a rapid explosion. Be sure to leave me a comment and subscribe to be informed when I post new projects. To learn more about these amazing drops, be sure to check out the channel Smarter Every Day, and afterwards come take a look at my past videos by visiting my channel, Nighthawk in Light, or by clicking one of the following boxes. Thanks for watching.